Hey ladies and gents, this is Linda Faitchik777 and today I'm coming at you with a design team project for the piece by piece. Now I'm going to move my sign out of the way so we could get started just immediately, but the first thing I'm going to do is show you the products I use because except for a couple of them, I mean you just barely see them of course as we get layering and covering things up, so I want to show you what I used. And here we go. So, um, as far as embellishments, I use this cute little teacup charm. Okay, super cute. I love this little teacup charm. And then I used one of these little filigree metal embellishments. Um, I also used one of these flowers. Now, this isn't a um, resin flower. It's kind of like a... Um, what do you want to say, like kind of a clay type flower almost? So um, this is like a real bright pink and a yellow in the center, and I didn't want that on my project. I wanted peach, so I acrylic painted with peach the center, but as I heat set it in between, it doesn't like melt and fall apart, but you just want to be real careful because it does get soft. But in all actuality helped me in the long run because I didn't want these bright green leaves either so it got soft enough I was able to pinch these leaves off um, but it actually you can see the holes in it can actually be used like on a bracelet or something cute you know charm bracelet anyway so use this and as far as trims go I use this beautiful acrylic frame that I um don't tell Beverly, I cut it into tiny pieces, but mum's the word, okay? <laughs> I cut it into pieces and use the pieces around my project, and I'll point those out. I use this puffy heart trim, one of my favorite trims. I love this. I've had this trim before, and I adore it, and I use it up every single time. Super cute! And then I used one of these floral trims. It's just a beautiful trim, and I cut it apart, of course, and used the individual flowers. And I think that was it. So let me move my camera up to the available position so that you can see what I came up with. I know it's kind of far away. No worries. Let's go in just a little bit. There we go. What I started out with, I know, right? Cute! What I started out with was this is actually a metal hanging, metal hanging picture frame. Yeah, I was trying to think if I had hanging in the right spot. Um, and I got it from Goodwill. And uh, this part was the picture frame. And it does still swing, but the, the wings up here act like a stopper. But this was the picture frame part. And it was like a really dark, dark, almost like a black color. And what I started out with to create texture and repaint the whole thing was I used gesso. And I was actually originally going to, um, I wanted this outer color to be almost like have a little light green hue to it. And I'm telling you the story because you're going to really see how much texture turned up on the gesso. It was a, um, I'm going to call it a creative decision. Um, I had taken that powder milk paint, the real pretty green color you get from Michaels, and I mixed it in the gesso and I thought it would kind of, you know, I mean, anything that's usually a powder, you mix it into like a wet or a paint, it mixes up, you know, but it didn't. It stayed lumpy and the gesso just got, oops, sorry guys, the gesso just got thicker and thicker and lumpier and lumpier. Um, and then I took the milk paint and I thought, okay, well, I'll mix it with a little bit of water and pour it in and get my green tint. And so then I did that, got it all done, and I didn't like the green tint. So then I took the, the, um, the uh, gesso and I just took one of these little pouncy brushes as I've told you guys about before and I just pounced it on all over the project to get rid of the green and I heat set it in between layers. I think I just did a couple layers and uh, that was it. That is my texture you see. You're also going to be able to see um, like up at the top here and we'll get in closer of course down around the edge here you're going to see some stenciling. I used a Prima stenciling with modeling paste. You're also going to see some cute little um, dots in here and what I did is I started out with um, did it in white. I started out with Liquid Pearls by Ranger and somebody tell me, um, I don't know if I did something wrong, but as I'm squeezing out trying to make the little dots, 
they were like pointy and I thought well that's kind of weird so you know then I practice on paper still pointy as it dries does it settle into like a little dot I don't know but I could not get them to round off as I pulled this away from the project so then what I ended up doing I remembered I got this uh, Viva pearl pin, pearl ice pin um, from Leonie, my passion for paper, um, here on YouTube. And she had given that to me in a contest that I won over a year ago, and I used this for the little dots. So that's all the texture you're going to see. Um, you're also going to see some like peach colored um, coloring around certain edges, because what I did is um, took an old toothbrush dunked it into peach color acrylic paint and then for those of you that are beginners then you take your thumb and you rub it over like your thumbnail and you rub it over the bristles on the toothbrush and the paint will splatter onto your project so you're going to see a lot of that splattering around okay so enough talking let's get looking okay so i'm going to move my camera up a little bit and um, you know try and bring this up closer to the project for you um also just i brought out an old um I'm going to call it old because I haven't used it in like forever. Uh, pulled out the old Prima Almanac paper. That's where the peach color comes in. Decided I wanted to work with that a little bit. I've just got kind of the 6x6 six six pad and, you know, maybe a few 12x12 12 12 sheets, but that's about it. Okay, so let's go up. I don't know how far up I need to go. We'll try with that and down. You're kind of right in view here, but let's bring it up. Um... The way this frame operates, too, I mean, I could have done it double-sided. I'll show you on the back, but decided not to. Um, and let me hold this right. There we go. Okay, so let me, let's get a close-up. And actually, sorry, guys, I'm going to come down just a little bit more. There we go. Angle the camera down. And so now you can see, like, all the texture on it. I mean, this is really thick texture, you can do that with just the pouncy brush, but you're going to have to do five or six layers and, you know, heat, use the heat tool in between, but it can be done. But here you can see like all my cute little um, things I did with that pearl pen. You know, I did that all over. You can see the stenciling going on here. Okay. You can see some of the, I'm trying to move my light a little bit. I'm sure you can see kind of some of the peach color. You'll see it a little bit better at the bottom. Okay, just trying to give you an up close look here. And then we'll go into even more depth. I wanted this project to kind of symbolize symbolize special moments, you know, you know, special moments in your day or special moments in love or something like that. So that's where all my pieces come from. Okay, you can see there now down there you can kind of see like the peach color on the camera. I don't know if that was blurry or not, but you get the gist of the peach. Okay, and then on the back, like I started to say, I could have made it double-sided. Decided not to, because, I mean, that's a nice little, you can see where the picture frame comes in handy. I mean, it's a nice little ledge. I thought about doing a shadow box with it. Um, now you can really see some of the peach all the way around it. Um, but you know what? I just was like, no. I'm just going to leave the back plane, put a pretty piece of almanac paper in there, and therefore, for more, for foremost, <laughs> therefore, foremost, and now you have it. It's just plain on the back. <laughs> I was going to make that sound all cool, and I just totally garbled it up. You know, whatever. <laughs> anyway, so there's the back. So back to the front. Okay, let me hold this in such a way that I can hold that frame up. So this piece that you see here, that's kind of, let me bring it this way. You can see it's double hearts and it also has this um, metal tag that hangs off of it. I got that piece at Michael's around Valentine's Day. It was several um, home decor pieces and um, you know, knew I wanted to do something with it someday. So what I did is I pried this piece Turn it this way. I pried that piece off of the back of the heart, and then I was able to use gesso and, you know, paint the heart, add almanac paper to it, and then I glued this back on. This already had kind of that burlap paper on it. And then this metal tag, I just painted it front and back using the pouncy brush with, you can see the texture on it. That's just with de gesso. Okay. And then I added some almanac paper on the front and then a little wooden XO. 
okay you can see my stenciling there with the prima love I think I pointed out here you kind of get some partial words it's kind of hard to hold because this thing wants to the frame part wants to move and then you can also see I have the word always right down here so that kind of shows so let's get up to the main part. Um, I explained the heart to you. I um, All my Prima papers, the Almanac papers, I um, distressed the edges and sewed around them. Okay. Um, these are Prima resin wings. I've got on both sides here. Here you can see coming into place some of that beautiful um, applique frame that I cut up. I've got it down here. And then I've got it over here, but it's going to be very hard to see. It's kind of near the flowers. And then I've got another piece down here, which totally covered up. And why I put it there, you know, that's the way it goes. And then right down here, you can see the cute puffy heart trim. I just cut a piece and I just laid it right on top of this kind of burlap wooden heart here. And then I begin layering on top of that. You can see the floral trim that I showed you at the beginning. I've got a piece here. And then I've got a piece over here. And then I've got one down here, and those are from Beverly Shot. So on top of that, I layered a resin um, clock. This is a Melissa Francis clock here. I layered a Tim Holtz metal uh, clock right here. On top of that, I layered a, um, oh my gosh, a spare parts clock hand that Rena gifted me in our recent swap. Thank you, Rena. And then this is a wooden um embellishment word from saw crafters and then this is a prima metal word on top of this wood piece there is the metal filigree from beverly shop i love these because they're just it's just real um what's the word it's just small there it just adds that little decorative touch right there without being too like here i am you know just gives it that nice little touch and then the prima word on top and then underneath and I, for, I forget about this because it's hanging on the bottom. So actually on top of this heart, before I started layering the resin clock and all that, I layered this um, piece. It's from Recollections that P gifted me. Hey, P. Um, it's a like a door knocker here, a lock. Okay. And then I began layering everything on top. Over here is a little Prima keyhole. Okay. On top of this lock here this is a piece i just fussy cut out of the almanac collection and i liked it because all the words kind of reminded me of like special moments and obviously it says special moments love with you play dream laugh remember when this day so it just all kind of works in with a special moments theme over to the left down here i've got it's one of my favorite i think i'm down to two left i hoard them it is an old prima vine i just love them and i cut it up in parts and you can see pieces sticking out here i also used it down at the bottom down here okay um and then on top of that this is just a little um seven gypsies it's a little acrylic piece it says it's got like postcard on it as you can see i cut it in half layered it there um, layered some underneath you can just see in there can you kind of see Beverly's trim is down there layered some flowers on top some wild orchid crafts here is that piece from Beverly's shop that floral piece and you can see how I just kind of painted it peach inside this prima piece this here and then this here the Roman numeral I put it there because it signified 24 7 24 hours a day seven days a week okay special moments and then um, hanging from the little lock here, I've got, this is like a seven gypsies piece right here. Okay. And then hanging there is the teacup. And you're wondering why the teacup, what does it have to do with special moments? Well, it's a teacup. It's a teacup full of love. All the love in your special moment of a day. I know I'm grasping there but I love the teacup I had to use it somehow <laughs> and then over here like I said the Prima um, flower spray over here and then some more wild orchid craft flowers going on down here okay and then behind it which you can't see if I move it you can see some of the beautiful almanac paper also in there inside that frame there okay so there it is it's like my shabby chic beautiful little altered picture frame i love it 
sorry everybody I'm keeping this one I can't bear to give it away I just love how it turned out I love it's like a cute beautiful how can cute and beautiful be in the same sentence I don't know I love it it's beautiful home decor piece will sit beautifully on my shelf here in the craft room all the information will be down below to everything about the piece by piece the blog the Facebook page um, the online Etsy store, the brick and mortar store. There's links to the classes that Beverly has available at her brick and mortar store in Fremont, California. If you are locally in that area, stop in and take a peek. If I was there, I would totally go in. There's just no, no if ands or behinds about it. I would go in that store. There's also those of you who might be new to my channel want to check out Beverly's shop. It's not just laces and flowers, okay? She's got a ton of mixed media product, Prima product. It's all there. I am lucky to be part of her design team because she has fabulous stuff to purchase and play with. Love it. Anyway, I thank you for sharing your time with me. Let you know. Let me know what you think about this project down below. I love to read your comments. If you have any questions, I will be sure to at least answer those because you all know I don't always get around to um, commenting on every um, everything that you say to me, but I love to read them because you all know what I'm going through right now putting on a happy face and we're walking through it. I am almost done. Three more weeks to go. Woo woo! I am excited. This health issue will be over. And then after that, it's just a yearly check to make sure I am cancer free. I love it. Anyway, um, like I said, thank you for sharing your time with me and I'll talk with you again soon. Bye.